Hello, welcome to this video tutorial. Today we are going to show you how to get started with Energia MT for the MSP432 P401R launchpad. This video will show you how to set up a multi-threaded application in Energia MT and outline a basic multi-threaded demo. Energia MT leverages the power of TI RTOS to bring multi-threading to your Energia sketches, letting you run multiple sketches in parallel. To demonstrate a multi-thread application, Let's try to blink each LED of the tricolor LED on the MSP432 launchpad at different rates. While this task sounds simple without multi-threading, it can be quite tricky. First, plug your MSP432 P401R launchpad into your computer. Next, let's open up Energia. We will import an existing code example by going to File, Examples, Multitasking, and selecting Multi-Blink. There are several examples of how to use the multitasking features of Energia MT located in the multitasking example folder. This code example is relatively simple. There are three tabs in the project where each tab is a sketch that will be compiled automatically into its own task. Here we can see that we have a setup and loop portion of our code in each tab. The names of the setup and loop functions in each tab must match in order for the compiler to recognize them as a new task in the same project. For example, in the blue LED sketch, the setup function is called setup blue LED, and the loop function is called loop blue LED. In setup, we build the framework and foundation for our project, and in loop, we write the code that will be executed over and over. In this example, we will have very similar code in each tab, with the exception of the LED definition in the setup functions and the delay between the blinks in the loop functions. In the first line of each sketch, a pound defined statement is used to define the variable LED as either blue underscore LED, green underscore LED, or red underscore LED. In each of the setup functions, we will use the pin mode function to set the appropriate pin to be an output. Pin mode accepts two parameters. The first parameter explains which pin we want to configure. We will use the LED variable for this parameter, which was defined above as either the blue, green, or red LED. The second parameter explains how we want to configure the pin as either an input or an output. Since we're blinking LEDs, we want to send our pins as outputs. That's all we have to do in setup. Moving down to the loop section, this is where our sketch will spend most of its time. We use two functions here to toggle the LED on and off. The first function is digital write. This function sets our pin to on or off. Much like the pin mode function, digital write accepts two parameters. The first for the pin we want to toggle, the second for the state we want to toggle the pin to. So we can see that we do this twice in our loop function to toggle pin 2 high and then low. However, to slow down the microcontroller, we use a delay function so that we can see both the high and low states for a specified period of time. The delay function accepts just one parameter, which is a number that corresponds to the number of milliseconds that we want to wait for. In this example, we're waiting for 100 milliseconds between toggles for the blue LED, waiting 500 milliseconds between toggles for the green LED, and waiting for 1,000 milliseconds between toggles for the red LED. And that's it. Just run your code by pressing the Verify and Download button and watch your tricolor LED blink each LED at 100, 500, and 1,000 milliseconds.